Another rainy day in California. Hey, yes it is. It is a rainy day in California. Welcome to the Man Cave here at Wistful Vistas in beautiful suburban San Diego, California. And uh, everyone wants the weather report. These videos are watched around the world. It's currently 64 degrees. I'll put what that is in Celsius over here. Uh, so that you folks out there know some of these videos are watched around the world and people do have a thing called winter. It seems like we do in California as well this year, just like last year, a little wet, a little rainy. What are we up to today? Well, I have a Sony ZV-E10 camera with interchangeable lenses. Ooh, I know, exciting. Not bragging. I, I, it's a, it's a fun thing for me. If you're into this whole moto vlogging thing and that sort of stuff, you, you by choice are also probably somewhat of a, of a camera fan. But what we're going to do is put on lens protectors. Now I've used these lens protectors with all of my GoPros and we're going to put on a lens protector on this camera today. It's the PC TC Alpha ZV E10 screen protector. A real mouthful. That's why I have this little cheat sheet here. Can you see how carefully I made that out? So uh, we're going to get together and do that and let's see how it goes. I'm going to do everything on camera so you'll learn right along with me. Stand by. It could be a bumpy road. Okay, so we're at the desk here at Wistful Vistas. Here's the camera. Very uh, nice camera, by the way. There's, there's a lot to do with it. There's a lot to be said for a GoPro you just fire up and run with. And then this is fun. I still have the kit lens on it. But let's set the camera aside over here and look at our PCTC Alpha ZV-E10 screen protector. Comes in a plastic shipping case. We open it. So that kind of bugs me sometimes. You don't see the clear tape and uh, it makes the whole thing of opening the box up a little harder. Uh, I guess they have to do it to keep it uh, safe for transit, in transit stuff. Put that over there for now. All right, now, here's how you open it. Yeah, you remove that tape you couldn't see before. There's uh, three sets of wipes. There's... Uh, Three lenses, not sure what they all go on. We have um, two sets of sticker guides. Oh, three sets of sticker guides. And then, of course, ta -da, the instructions. All right, the instructions say, step one, clean the camera screen surface. Step two, use dust absorber screen surface cleaning. Step three, Tear the protective layer off the protective film. Step four, automatic absorption protective film to the screen, gently press. And it says view the pictures on the back of the page. There's the pictures. Here's one. We use uh, these. And here's two. We'll use these. And here's three. So I guess you have uh, three sets so that uh, should you break one of these you can use it three times. Now the nice thing about the Sony is that you can lift that out and you can see what you're looking at while you're making a, a shot or this brand of Sony I guess I should say. And you can also flip it around and look at it from the back and when you close it up that means the screen is uh, protected there. So I think for what we want to do, this is the best angle of attack. All right, uh, number one, wet wipe. Number two, dry, dry wipe. So we'll take this off. I can see there's a few bubbles left on the screen from the wet wipe, so we'll wipe that down like so. Then we do the uh, dust absorber. We've done one and two. We'll do the dust absorber. Hard to imagine how that's going to get any cleaner. <laughs> All right, put that away. We're going to take uh, the first 
lens cover out. Now there is a lens guide uh, that you use to put these on. I'm going to take a chance and uh, not use it. I'm going to try to align it by hand. But uh, let's go ahead and take this backing off. Like that. Right there. And bear with me while I try to very carefully align this by hand. That went on rather nicely. Now you can't uh, see it, at least I can't see it there. They also pack us a uh, polishing cloth and we'll use that to clean off the backing plate. Now that you want it to do, uh, as you put it on, you want it to do a couple of things. You want to have it, of course, uh, protect the screen, but this is, uh, you also, if you want it, if there's any touch, touch sensitivity, you also want to preserve that. All right, now I'm going to take the lens off and I'm going to see if there's any distortion. Let's uh, power on the camera in view here. There's the camera. Now I'm a little close. Do I lose any sort of. Uh, no, I just tapped, so I got a tracking can cancel. But uh, you know what? The. Uh, touch screen interface works rather well and uh, I think we're in good shape. Now the next test, I'm going to power off the camera. There it goes. I'm going to see how it closes up. Does it leave any gap there? Nope. There it is. So uh, in a few moments or less, we have the uh, screen protector in place and it doesn't seem to interfere with camera operation or storage at all. And I have a little bit of, uh, what would you call it? A little assurance that it's more protected now than it used to be. So let's put the lens back on. And uh, we'll try and do some videos later on. But there you have it. Uh, impressive little product at a good price. PCTC Alpha ZVE10 screen protector. By the way, I purchased this with my own hard earned funds. There's no product placement or anything like that. So just an honest assessment. Uh, nice little addition, I think, for the ZVE10 uh, camera. And that's all we got. Thanks for watching. Hope you're gonna have a wonderful day.